welcome. Today, as I was creating my lesson for my students, a drag and drop activity, I decided I would take you along with me. So if you want to know how I create a drag and drop activity for my high school students, stick around. Let's dive in. So for the drag and drop activity, I start in Google Slides and I'm going to go up here to view and master view. Go down a couple of slides. The first ones really control all the fonts and everything. Highlight and delete. In the master view, I want to create everything that I do not want the students to move. First thing I'm going to start with is the background. I'm just going to create and choose a colorful background. I found this really nice one when I type in pixel. This one right here. So now I've got my image. So now another thing that I don't want them to be able to move is the title, the problem, the boxes, things like that. So we go here, insert a text box. That's the first one. These will not be movable. So the title of mine is Triangle Sum Theorem. I'm going to highlight that by left clicking and dragging over it. I'm going to increase the font. Oh, before I do that, I want to change the font to what I want. I like this nice bold font for my title. Then I'm going to increase the font size. I'm just going plus until it gets to the size that I like. Every font needs different dimensions. They're all a little bit different. And then I'm going to go up here and center it. When I drag this box, you can see the vertical red line where it's centered. And I'm going to drag it up to the top. And I want to put some direction. I'm going to change my font size go down to a 20. And I'm going to change the font to this one. So just give my students some basic instructions. The next thing I need to do that I don't want my students to move is the actual question. So I took a screenshot or a snip out of their workbook that they're going to have to prove. I'm going to insert. I've already saved it to my computer. And there is the question. So now I need to create the two column proof. So I'm going to insert, go to table, and I need two by five, drag this down into place. The first one, this is going to be called statements. And over here I have reasons. I'm going to highlight statements. I want to change the font and I want to increase the font size, make it a little bit bigger. I like that. While I have it highlighted, I'm going to go up here to this paint roller, click on that and then click on reasons and it's going to match it up. I think I want this to be centered also. So I can highlight it and then go up here and center. Do the same for the other one. Okay, that's looking good. For my students, because they're just now learning proofs, I'm going to give them all the statements and they're going to be dragging and dropping the reasons. So these are all the elements that I don't want the students to move around. So once you're done with that, I'm going to go over here to the view section and I'm going to add that as my next slide. I can delete the first one. I don't need it. I can even get rid of the themes over here. X out of that. So now I just need to create. Oh, I notice my boxes are not the same. Let's go back into view, master, and let's adjust these. I want them to be the same size. There we go. And let's make sure it's centered. Okay, it adjusted it here. So now I just need the reason. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the boxes that they will drag and drop into place. So choose a shape and I'm going to create it the same size as my box. And I want the color of these to be this yellow color. I kind of like that. I've got this wonderful color pick eyedropper. If you go to the Google Chrome web store, you'll find that there. You click on that and then hover over the color you want. It will tell you the hex code. Control C will give me that. X out of this. It's copied. Click back on my image. Go to the color bucket custom and I'm going to control V to paste my hex code in and click OK. Now that I have my first box, 
I'm going to go ahead and set this up also. I want my text to be centered on all of them. And I want my font to be the same. And then I'm going to control D and just duplicate it. I've got four of them. I want a couple extra answers. So just go ahead and start completing your boxes. So now that you've got all of your cards that they need to sort, the drag and drops, this is what I do just to organize them. I left click, mouse over them, slide, highlights them all, and then I go to arrange, align to the left. Okay, that looks better, but now I want to arrange them again, and I want them to distribute evenly vertically, and there they are, nice and neat. And now when you assign this, each student gets their own copy. Students can drag these and place them in the right spot. And you can see immediately if they know what they are doing. Notice none of this in the background can be moved. The only thing that they can move are these cards. So what did you think? Is this something that you could do with your students? Make your slides a little more interactive and a little more engaging? Let me know in the comments what you think. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you will be notified every single week when I upload new videos. Remember, step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.